does he know how to play? I haven't played before, but I'm pretty quick on picking up on these things. I haven't played before, but I'm pretty quick at picking up on these things. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'll take care of the uh, setup thing. It's it's scripted. All right. Uh, you've used Tabletop Simulator before, Nighthawk? Yeah, I have. All right, cool. Then, you know, we uh, do the roll-off to see who goes first. Lowest count. I got, got 16. 13. I got 13. I got 13. We tied at 13. All right, you guys roll off. 15. 14. All right, All right juice box. You roll, the, you roll the red dice. Shit. Uh, fuck. All right, everybody roll again. <laughs> All right, I got 19. I got 14. All right. I'm deselecting and uh, about to use this. Nice. Two. Got what does that road mean? Uh, road dice means if you st if your car stays on the road. For, oh, from... that's the extra boost. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And does that apply for everybody on this round? Correct. Gotcha. Anybody and everybody's car. If you, if we want to deal with these hazards. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I will. I will use my big boy car. It's gonna be such a big boy. Now use medium. Um, just to go that way, and then I can. Drift or nitro. Do I have to select one of these things before I move my car? Uh, yes. You you assign your die and then you decide whether you want to do any of these things. You, so you can't do air strike yet. It's it's the first round. So you can do anything else like nitro. You can put your two on nitro. So you do move five, then move two, and if you stay on the road, an additional two, which puts you decently into the lead. Then again, if you hit anything like a mine or a slam or anything on uh, the hazards, then uh, your turn for that car usually stops right there. Okay, I'm just going to use drift. Drift. Okay, so I'm going to go. Okay, so I, I'm going to recommend that you don't do that from the standpoint of drift is only used against cars. If it's your first car move, you're not oh, going to come up against any cars or wreck. to drift off. Oh, car yeah, but, or wreck. But what if I un unveil a wreck? Then, hey, then in that case, uh, you, okay, well, that that makes sense in, in that case. Okay, what are these for? Uh, they're just road spaces. They don't have a hazard tile on them, so don't worry about them. So technically, yes, you can do that. So if you you can do drift. So if you I'm gonna drift, wreck, you can just drift around it instead. I don't want to discourage you because there might be a wreck in the first shot. But I'm just saying you're you're taking away some of your really fast movement speed. Um. For your other Wait, I have to keep up. this roll for the next round? Not for the next round, for the rest of these. So if you assign five to drift, that means that your two other cars move one and two. Oh, I thought you could only assign one die per turn. One so die I, I get to assign each vehicle assign is a three turn, die. and then the round is done when you're, you know, all of your cars have moved. So the nitro would apply to all three cars? No, just the one that you assigned it ter uh, during that turn. So if you're doing your medium car and you assign five to drift, it only applies for your medium car, and your medium car is going to drift through these. Uh, through, okay. through the wreck. So do I now put these on the other guys? 
Uh, no. Uh, no. So first and foremost, you're going to resolve your medium card turn, put it on the board, move it however, uh, oh, do hazards. All right, you've got... This is open road. Uh, <laughs> and then I go so, forward? Yeah, so you move two more. That's open road. Oh, I'm, I'm a genius. <laughs> okay. Uh, then. Okay, so that resolves your medium card turn. So it would go to Nighthawk next. It's clockwise. So one of your dice... Uh, Nighthawk, are you familiar with the game mechanics? Uh, I put a die on a car. I assign an extra die to any of the effects in the pinwheel, and we resolve one car at a time. Uh, that's what I've caught so far. All right, correct. Do you understand the difference between the size of the vehicles? Um, and, like, the benefit of either? Okay, so the one in the middle of the uh, setup is the Doom Buggy. The medium one is the Avenger. Big one is the Eliminator. Chopper in the back. Uh, right, but uh, larger cars, uh, if you slam into an enemy's car, uh, the larger the vehicle gives you a bonus and allows you to roll the dice necessary if you don't like how the slam works. You can re-roll the dice to get another result. If you try to slam a larger vehicle with a smaller vehicle, they can institute the same effect and say, nah, go ahead and re-roll that. I don't like how that works. So having a larger vehicle is beneficial in that case. On the other hand, uh, airstrikes, and if your car is ever behind another person's car, say like in this situation right here, I can shoot you if my car ends its turn behind your car and I roll the dice. If I roll the dice and it says M on the back of it, because this is the medium car, I'm looking to get either any or M. In this case, I got L, large, which means my mine misses. You can see how if his blue van were there, I would have hit him and caused him damage. Gotcha. So, in this case... All, all cars have the same dice. They don't modify this dice in any way. Um, just keep that in mind. So if you're... Yeah, bigger cars bully smaller cars. Because you want to... If, uh, if my car is like right here... Say my like dune buddy is like right here. And you come up with your medium car and decide to slam it. You could essentially get this... Move the bottom car to forward left. This is the end of the map. So if you force me to move forward, and because I can't ask for a reroll, um, let's see. Uh, so this is the slam dice. I got bottom car and then move front left. There's nowhere to move. My car is eliminated at that point. Gotcha. So you want to use your big cars to bully. So that's uh, the strategy there is something I want to make sure that you understand before moving your cars because it'll it'll cause you to jockey for position there. So you decide how you want to move. So in this case, you might go, well, actually, I want to bully his medium car onto this hazard right here. I'm going to move my white van all the way up and slam him into it because I know I'll be able to reroll. Or you can be like, fuck it, I don't care. I'm going to use my small car and just zoom right past him or whatever. Yeah, I thought I'd come out of the gate kind of swinging, so I was thinking about using the uh, the large eliminator to uh, push him around. So okay. I'm going to use the nitro and a five. Two, three, four. All right, nitro. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five. You don't technically have to use the nitro. Uh, so if you used five, I come up short if I use five. I, I'm only here. Right, and then you you were you only use the road, so you get the road dice of extra movement, regardless of nitro. Oh, so, so I don't do, do I need to roll that, or is that standard for everybody? That's standard for for this round. If you stay on the road, you get two additional movement for everybody and all cars. Yeah, so he's on top of me, and he doesn't so have to. He's use on nitro. top of you. Now, does he have to choose? What to use here? If 
can he not he can use opt any of these? to not use it. I'm I'm giving him a pass because this is you know very first game for pretty much both of you. So there's going to be a lot of mulligans. So in this case, so he, he can choose to drift actually. Uh, putting a three on his drift, he could be like, you know what? I don't actually want to land on this dude. I just want to go around him. Which you could do that, but you have the exact same space. So, I mean, you would basically be slamming either way. In any case... If uh, I do the drift, can I still bully him around or no? Yes, yes. You're going to roll these two dice. One is the slam dice. And one is the direction dice. Do it. Top car so, moves front. Front car moves front. Unless you want to reroll. Yeah. So here you get the benefit of being in front of them, so you're the lead car. Otherwise, unless you really wanted to, there there to be a chance that he moves into the hazard, you can reroll. But otherwise, this isn't a bad roll. Could be worse. Could be better. Yeah, I was kind of looking to cause a little bit of wreckage, but, you know, I'm going to let it go for now. Um, and, you know, I've got other cars coming up, so I can always do other stuff. Okay, so you, so in that case, you wouldn't use anything on the command um, because you didn't want to drift, you don't want a nitro, you can't use air strength yet, and there's nothing to repair. So in this case, you keep those three dice, and you know, we'll keep on moving as is. So I'm. Yeah, I think that w one. I think that one was actually a three. I, I think it shifted when we moved it. Remember your total number. Yeah, it was fourteen. So. Yeah, uh, that's right. Then. Nine. 11, 14, yeah. He's I think it just shifted when we moved it. I'm actually going to shoot too? your medium car with my van. You don't want to go forward to? <laughs> I miss. You miss, you jerk. I miss. So basically... Could you have shot me instead of him? If you shoot at the big guy, you always hit. Almost. If it were, if you roll an M, you actually miss. Um, oh. So in this case, uh, hold on a second. What, what was your what was your question? In this instance, would you have been allowed to say, "I don't want to shoot the guy directly in front of me. I want to shoot the big van in front of him." In, uh, no, in, in other words, could you shoot me instead of him? No, I have to be right behind your car. Gotcha. So, as and, you saw, uh, I used six. I opted to not use the road dice to move an additional two. Oh, got it. You don't and, have to use uh, road dice. Okay. That way you, you could not. try to hit me, right? Yeah, I could have. Well, once a so slam happens. you, you happens, have to use the road dice before the shoot action. Correct. Shoot is the very last action. Gotcha. All right. So, if you were to ha have hit me, what would happen? If I slammed you, I would no, no. roll the... the... The gun, the gun, the gun. Oh, if I would have hit you, uh, we pull one damage from the bag, we assign it to the car that was affected, and then you mitigate the effect. What so bag? Once, once we do damage, we'll, we'll pull it out of the bag. That's like not a big thing. Okay. Usually it's either... Uh, cosmetic or an effect that involves moving some crazy way with like the FX. Deck. How much damage can I have? Two damage and then your vehicle becomes inoperable. It can no longer be moved until repaired. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So that was turn order. One that was turn. turn one. We're at turn two. So we're back to juice box to assign a dice to either his small or large vehicle. Okay, I'll do the small one. When I have it go two, and I'll have it nitro. 
you can only do one command per round. So you've already gotcha. done one. All right, so I just go two, right? Correct. Yeah, four total. Cool. All right, goes to Nighthawk. Well, that's his span. So you're using your moving your medium? Yeah. Sorry, I, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> I did not mean to move his guard by accident there. Uh, okay, yeah, so, so I'm going to pull gonna... behind him. I'm going to take some shots. Uh, Just try Okay, it. so you have to either use the whole road value or none of it. So you would want to use your three dice. Okay, so yes, now you rolled this. Just so you know, the smallest. Oh, yep. Well, you do damage. Okay, so I get one damage. So, Skid. Your small blue vehicle immediately moves front left. Front right? Or front right, yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. That resolves. Oh, sorry, I was trying to help. <laughs> this flips. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm helping. I I'm helping move you out of my way. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I'm gonna do one, two, three. And resolve a slam on your car. Hey, buddy, get your own bumper. Like yours better. I actually move forward one. Forward. I will take it. Okay, back to juice box. My large vehicle goes up one and then resolves two. All right, I'm about to slam you, boy. <laughs> is, that a, is that a large vehicle on, below me? Or yes. Geez, if uh, you're going to hump me like that, can you at least uh, buy me some vehicle. chocolate, some flowers first? I mean, if you feel so inclined. I like it. Bottom moves back one. Woof. I'll I'll take that. Okay. Uh, I believe that uh, after you're done with that, I don't think that stops your turn. Yeah. And then it to white. All right. Move. Roll the slam die in the direction. If one of the vehicles is larger, move the affected vehicle one space. If the affected vehicle moves into space, two road vehicles are ever stacked. This can happen during the move. When this happens, the moving vehicle loses any remaining moves it has, then immediately resolves a slam. The road vehicle you moved or the chopper you placed may shoot according to these rules. You can shoot a road in your front or shoot a road vehicle in your front arc. If you have more than one target, choose one. You may not shoot choppers. You may not shoot wrecks. Or you may shoot wrecks. You may sh you may shoot after resolving a slam. That's what I wanted to look up. Oh, so I can. So you shoot can you. shoot my orange medium car. All right. So just to clarify, before you did not want to boost, so you could shoot. So I boosted. Does that mean I can't do anything? Sorry, what do you mean by boost? So I had a one, and then I boosted two. So you used the road dice for two, which caused you to slam yeah. this vehicle and re-jockey for position, putting you behind my orange medium car. Yeah, yeah. So and now I get, resolved... shoot, I get that. Yeah, you what? resolved your move, which means your final move is to shoot. Since you have a vehicle in front of you, you can shoot that vehicle. Gotcha. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and shoot. All right, and I take one damage. So this is the effects that I'm talking about. Days. So in this case, I move 
back a number of crazy stunt dice. I move back, back right. right two. Cool. And then I resolve that. Then All right, big now it's twice turn. Work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you might as well use one of these guys, right? Well, if you don't use it, you automatically assign a card at coast. You can put this. Oh, for the remaining? Yeah, if you decide not to do a condition, this, no matter what values here, can be assigned to one car, coast plus one. Basically, it can move an additional slot forward or in an, in the forward arc at your you know leisure. Like, if you, if you only had two cars and you already used the command wheel, you would have one dice left over and you could assign it to one of these cards to coast, for instance. So in this case, might as well put it on Nitro because you can get moved two rather than one space. <laughs> so you've got to five. You can Nitro for two. So either you have to move through the hazard or you slam, which ends your movement. So you can risk the hazard and try to get like all the boost you're looking for, or just oil slick. All right. So you you move. Hold on. You're gonna move the, move this direction dice. This does not count as a movement for you, but you will continue your movement after you're done. So you move back left. You move. Oops. You move here. Now continue moving your car as you'd like. If he re-enters the oil slick, does he have to resolve it again? Yes. It counts as one movement because he's moving into the oil slick again, but he can it still counts as him being on the road if he uses if he wants to use the road dice. Gotcha. So but can I stop where I am uh, and take a shot? You have to resolve your movement, and you have decided to boost or use nitro here. So, you, yeah, you can definitely go on the yellow, like the sand. You just won't get the red dice. So, you can move forward and then mitigate the rest of your nitro. Wait, did okay. he go too many? One, well, wait, two, I went one, two, three, three, four up into here, five, six, and that would be the end of the road dice. I resolved here seven, or yeah, seven, eight. So yeah, one, I'm two, one for nitro. So one, one, yeah. Okay, you got it. And I can't take shots because I'm off to the side. Yeah, correct. Oh, helicopter's good, though. Well, helicopter's not doing anything this round. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, I don't know if that was mentioned. They can shoot in the spaces in front of them, left, right, and front. I'm going to have to look what what repair means by before moving. Like, is it the first thing that I have to do in a turn? Okay, so I guess I just need to sign this before I move my small vehicle. I'm choosing to use the six to repair. Uh, I'm going to mitigate this damage that was caused to me. And my small car moves four. Nice. Back left. How is it back left? Ah, damn, I can't fucking... Yeah, it looks like back left. 
Okay. I wish I could move these to the left or the right instead of making them fucking... I just want to turn them so I can see the right fucking way it's going. It, it doesn't matter. I, I mitigated that. All right. That's the end of the round. You pull your dice again. Assuming that there are cool. any dice left, there shouldn't be. This road dice moves to Knight. He is now first player. Roll all of them, right? Roll, yeah, roll all of them. Wow. Oh, damn. That is some big numbers. What the fuck, speed boy? All right, so I start, right? right? Well, so somebody's going to be. Yep. Wait, you go first. You assign your shiznit. Oh, here, click off. Oh, wow, and the road dice is three. That's fucking tempting. Cargo burr. Yeah, of course, his lead cargo's first. All right, choppers are now open for season. So if you want to use your airstrike, any, any number, you can put it anywhere on the board. My God, man. You put it anywhere on the oh, board? Your card takes damage. You hit a mine. Oh, shrapnel. Oh, shit. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, roll the directional dice, and the first car in that direction takes damage. Additional damage. So roll the directional dice. So what? back left, there's nothing, nothing happens. Nothing there. Yep, nothing happens. So nothing happens. Fine. Okay. Yep, nothing happens. I mean, you you still take your damage. It's mitigated. Oh, but I see. Nobody else takes damage. All right. Oh, the shrapnel. No, no. Like, all right, you hit the mine. That's the end of your movement. Um. Oh, right. oh, oh. What gotcha, gotcha. I can't yeah, assign a uh, a repair die now, can I? Correct. No, I have to do that on a subsequent you've already turn. already moved your vehicle. You could still repair that damage if I remember it correctly. I think it's just like it has to be the, a command before you move any vehicle. Okay. I, I would need additional uh, information. I It might be that before you move that vehicle, you have to repair. In that case, I fucked up. But It says before up, moving, remove one damage token from one of your cars. I think it's yeah, from one of your cars. Like it means any of them. Moving whatever vehicle it is on your turn, mitigate the damage. So I, uh, before yeah, I would moving agree. My small car, I repair damage on my medium car and then move my small car. Right. So I believe that's the case. Yeah. And that, that turn comes back to you, then, yeah, you can use one of your dice to repair. Because I'm not going to uphold you against a rule that I just did the same fucking way. No, no. The way that the the part of the uh, pinwheel reads, it does sound like it's any car because it would say cars versus car. It, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, it's so, one of those weird grammatical things of like, well, you got to read grammatically. <laughs> that's why we were playtesting. Well, so here's the thing is when it says car, you're only going to ever move one car per turn. So that still can mean I move my small car, or before I move my small car, I repair my medium car. Right. That's why, I, yeah, we're, we're all in agreement. We're just saying it in different ways. Okay. All right, so explain this helicopter. All right, so during your command, uh, you have the ability to assign any of your dice, that can be any roll, uh, to use an airstrike. I'll do it on my turn because um, just as an example. But what I'm going to do Actually, I don't know if I want to use my airstrike. I'm just going to move. I'll, I'll wait to do it later. I'm going to hit your medium car with my van. Front left. Bottom. I don't like that. Front left. <laughs> Back left. Oh, I like Back this. 
Oh, God, that hits me, doesn't it? Yeah. Now you resolve the slam. No, no way, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I just played with the guy, and there were, were two oil slicks on it, so we basically just did fucking oh, Ralph back Robin. Left. Oh, okay, so he's stuck in the mud, which is all right. It, it takes two, act, um, two movement to get into the mud, but it only takes one to move to the next one. So it doesn't really cause him too much issue. But it No, but it takes me one. further away from getting back to the road. Yeah, yeah, and one thing that you're going to be worried about is you're on the edge of the map here. So literally any car could come up and just slam you. And if you move to the left in any way, your your car is done so. Can you go backwards? Uh, on the directionals, yeah. So I could like just try to slam him again? No. No, when you're driving, you have to move forward. If you okay. hit an oil slick or you hit a hazard that sends you some kind of crazy way, then yeah. Okay. okay, sounds good. So I moved him one. I'm not assigning anything extra. That's the end of this car's turn. Juice box to you. Yeah, I mean, juice box, you okay. got the movement. If you wanted to come after me with your, uh, your heavy, you could try and whack me out with that. It's true. I just need one. Wait, no, and then I'd have to end on the road. No, I mean, it could be any car. It could be your freaking, you know, small one. It's just you don't get the reroll. Well, I meant for his maximum ability to knock me out. Okay. Let's Could, see but he'd have to spend pretty much all of his turn just to get over to the other end of the map and then put himself in jeopardy as well. So I, I mean, didn't that, say it wasn't without risk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just it makes sense to use your largest car because that makes it more likely that you'll be able to re resist getting pushed off the map. Would be the best. Okay, way to go so if let let's just say I want to move this guy here six, one two three four five six, I could use the road to no, no, because you're not no on the road does. when you started. You're off the road. I have to start and stop. I got gotcha. you. Correct. Which so is let's why say the I... On the road. One, two, three, four. Five, I could do seven try to shoot you. Okay, yes. I got it. Or I could use any yeah. dice for a helicopter airstrike. Yeah, you could put the airstrike right behind him. If you put your chopper right behind his car, you will immediately be able to roll the shoot dice. And you'll block off anybody from going that way without taking money. Including because myself. If they land here underneath your helicopter, they immediately explode if they end their turn there. So they had to land there, though. They could pass through it? Yeah. I mean, if you want to slow them down, which as the lead car, your goal is to slow them down. Because once you get to the, the here, you add a new board. So if all our cars are back here and you get all the way here, all of these cars are gone. Like you have left everybody okay. in the dust. They are done. Not that it's likely to happen, but it's possible. You could okay, so to, get so a six clarify. and nitro for three and all of these are road tokens. So you just blast forward. So yeah, right. you put your so chopper question. right behind Say, it. If yeah. I did this... Whatever I did to you, this chopper stays for the for the round. Correct. And then anybody could literally just run through it, but they can't land on it or they die. Correct. Okay. So, interesting. Um... I'm going to And you guys did did I already tell you guys about the um the Kickstarter? Oh, the new one that's coming up? Uh I yeah. got some ads for it. Um I'm on some mailing lists uh regarding uh restoration games. 
Excellent. Yeah, that's one of the reasons okay. why I'm playing to familiarize myself, and then anybody that wants to pop in, I'm just kind of put, pointing out like, hey, they're an all right company that do all right games. Maybe back them if you're interested. Are you associated with them or no? No, not associated in any way. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, qu question about moving. If there's a car in the way and you haven't finished your your movement, you have to just slam? Okay. So slamming into Let's say your I movement. wanted to use this guy to move six. One, two, three, four. And if he's in the way, or can I go through myself? You either way you slam. I slam like, myself or him. Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, but that would end my movement at five. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Sounds. The only thing that wouldn't would be like moving there. And then that opens yeah, up yeah. the rest of the road for you, uh, allowing you to use the road dice. But you'd have to risk the hazard. Right. Okay. I, I just realized that I fucked myself over by plopping down in the middle of this, and the, the only thing left is a hazard. Because all my fucking cars have to do it. Um, if the chopper hits you, you automatically die? Or it's just no. a damage? Just a damage. Okay. If your cars receive I can two do damage, both they become in inoperable. Turn. I can do a chopper and move? Yeah. You have to sacrifice one of your dice to use the chopper, and that's the only uh, command you can use this round, but yes. Okay, that's what I want to do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ballsy here. Medium, six. Okay. Balls and I'm going to assign one to airstrike. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Go ahead and roll that shoot dice. It does not hit. It does not mother effing hit. That was the one side I did not want. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, there's two sides. Okay, cool. I think there's like um, three for L. I, I don't I don't know which ones there are. There's yeah, like... four for L because there's an any side, right? Yeah, there's an any, there's an MS, and then there's a medium. Okay, cool. So that's my turn. Got it. Okay, so I guess it's me at this point, right? Yeah, it's to unite. 